Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with another very amazing problem on center of mass. It's an original problem and it's a, since it is a special day and uh, we have completed 200 videos so I thought of posting one more amazing uh, problem. Uh, it's a very special problem. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are on INPHO Foundation and for J Advanced 2023 and uh, Emerge Batch for uh, J 2023 also. In uh, INPHO Foundation, we will be starting with the uh, circular motion and work power energy and uh, in Emerge, we will be starting with kinematics. And there is another uh, course of uh, advanced problem solving for J Advanced 2021. It contains some of the finest problems of uh, uh, J Physics. It's currently going on and it's uh, part 3 will be starting around uh, 15th of July. And there is uh, another advanced course for JE 2022 in Hindi and currently we are doing in uh, in this top, uh, in this batch, we are doing current electricity and uh, it will be followed by magnetism. And uh, course on rotational mechanics uh, is also going on parallelly. It started on first week of June. Guys, you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. And uh, for more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement. Uh, two point masses A and B, each of mass M0 and 2M0 are rigidly attached at the end of a non-uniform rod of length L. The linear mass density of rod from one end, uh, end A varies as per the function lambda x is equal to lambda naught 1 plus x by L, where x is measured from end A. The end A and B are moving with velocities uh, vector VA and VB at this instant. What will be the velocity of center of mass of uh, the system at this instant? You can use lambda naught L is equal to M naught. <clears throat> now this problem is pretty special problem and uh, when I gave this problem in uh, in my batch for current uh, uh, JE 2021 in students and uh, they could not solve it. So I hope you'll uh, love the solution I'm going to present here. So concept wise you can say VCM uh, you can write as total linear momentum of the system divided by total mass or you can write for uh, <coughs> individual parts momentum whatever number of parts are there in the system their momentum you can write. And also for a non-uniform uh, rod, we can calculate the center of mass using integral x dm divided by integral dm. So in integral dm is nothing but the total mass which can be calculated as per lambda x dx. And we have measured this x from end a. So when I substitute the value, I am going to get this value as 3 lambda naught L by 2 and lambda naught L is given as M naught. So this value will become 3 M naught by 2. And similarly, I can find out integral x dm and this is going to be <coughs> 0 to L lambda uh, x value also I am substituting and uh, basically this x times lambda x dx. So when I simplify this, I am going to get 5 lambda naught L square by 6. Now after this I can calculate uh, the center of mass location of this rod and it is uh, you know, phi L by 9 from the end A. So once I have this result I can say this center of mass of the rod because in order to write in order to write uh, the overall momentum of the system I need to write momentum of this rod and that is not easy to evaluate you need to do some uh, reverse thinking here so somehow you'll find the location of center of mass here and then we'll be using that uh, trick using position vectors so this uh, ac by bc is 5 by 4 or you can say center of mass is dividing this uh, line segment into 5 to 4 ratio so if that is the case you can see here let's say position vector of a is r1 and position vector of uh, b is r2 at any given instant of time so i can simply write dr1 by dt as v1 and dr2 by dt as v2 so, and also i know that this line segment for the rod it is divided by the center of mass into 5 to 4 ratio so if that is the case i can simply use that internal bisection uh, formula or you can derive it also so 
position vector of center of mass in terms of r1 r2 will be known to me and that is uh, 4 r1 plus 5 r2 by 9 so i am using m times r2 plus n times r1 divided by m plus n because it is internal division all right so i know the uh, position vector of rod in terms of r1 r2 if i differentiate this i am going to get center of mass velocity of the rod this is itself is the tricky part of this uh, problem here so it comes as 5 4v1 plus 5v2 by 9 and mass of the rod is 3m0 by 2 now this problem is very simple i can use uh, total momentum of the system as m1v1 plus m2v2 plus m3v3 of center of mass everywhere when we are using m1v1 plus m2v2 plus m3v3 these are the velocity of center of masses of individual parts and uh, here luckily particle a and b are point masses so directly we can write for it now when when i simplify this i hope uh, i am i have done the correct calculations i am going to get this value as m0 by 6 times 10 v1 plus 17 v2 vector wise once i know this then total mass of the system also is known to me and uh, that is 9 m0 by 2 so velocity of center of mass of the system including rod particle plus rod system is going to be total momentum which is m by 6 10 vector v1 plus 17 vector v2 divided by 9 m0 by 2 when i simplify this i am going to get a very nice answer and that is uh, 10 vector v1 plus 17 vector v2 by 27 for this uh, problem and uh, this is going to be the final answer for this i hope guys you have enjoyed it and it is a very unconventional problem so there will be some learning for you guys also and if you have enjoyed this problem please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and guys please promote these uh, videos uh, next goal is uh, 10k very quickly we will achieve it and after that it is 1 lakh subscriber by the year end and I'll keep posting such problems and I'll try to bring more such innovative uh, problems and methods. So I need your help. I hope uh, you will help me in promoting this channel. So thank you. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem.